hello everyone welcome back to the channel basic home first aid today we'll be talking about asthma its triggers and how to manage a crisis with or without an inhaler please don't forget to like share and subscribe because we have more interesting contents in store for you asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder which causes an increase in airway hyperresponsiveness. In an asthma attack, the muscles of the air passages become inflamed and go into spasms. In addition, membranes in the airway lining may secrete excess mucus. As a result, the airways become narrowed, which makes breathing difficult. Among adults, women have a 30% greater prevalence of asthma than men. It isn't clear why some people get asthma and others don't, but it has been attributed to genetic and environmental factors. Asthma triggers vary from person to person and can include air pollutants such as perfumes, oxidants or cigarette smoke, allergen inhalation from animal fur and feathers as well as house dust or pollen, exercise and cold air, stress, drugs such as aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, viral upper respiratory tract infections. Asthma symptoms vary from person to person but usually occur particularly at night or early in the morning. They include shortness of breath, chest tightness or pain, wheezing when exhaling, cough, distress and anxiety, as well as features of hypoxia, such as bluish lips, nail beds, or earlobes. Asthma cannot be cured, but good management can control the disease and enable people with asthma to enjoy a normal active life. The aim during crisis management is to ease breathing and to obtain medical help if necessary. In cases of no inhaler, get away from the trigger if it can be identified. Sit upright, this opens the airways. Avoid bending or lying down as this constricts the airways. Slow down breathing by taking long deep breaths, inhaling with your nose and exhaling with your mouth. Stay calm. Anxiety tightens the chest and back muscles, making breathing difficult. Drink a warm caffeinated beverage such as tea or coffee since they have similar properties to some asthma medications. Honey can also be used as it increases saliva production due to its sweetness and also has anti-inflammatory properties. Get medical help if symptoms persist. In cases of an inhaler, get away from the trigger if it can be identified. Sit upright and keep calm. Take one puff of your inhaler every 30 to 60 seconds, up to 10 puffs. If symptoms persist after 4 minutes, repeat the puffs while seeking for medical help. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. Hope you found this video very insightful and learned the basics of asthma crisis management. Do stay tuned for more content ahead. And never forget, if not you, who? Hmm.